you know, when the Can Empire was a trio, we were playing um, just whatever gigs we could, but often like jazz clubs or, um, you know, galleries or things like that. And it was instrumental and we're sort of discovering this new sense of harmony and melody and things like that. But it was very, very in the background in a lot of ways. And then one night I met Harry and I think it was at the, um, at this old jazz club called Dizzy's. And I remember seeing him get up there and sing and then play his trumpet. And I was like, whoa, this guy's got pipes and he's got this amazing, tough, big, broad uh, trumpet sound. And, um, and that night we, we went out, I think we went to the, the Z bar and sat in with, um, you know, like the Shuffle Club or Bobby Valentine's band or Julia O'Hara's band, one of those, and, and just sort of formed this instant friendship. And I remember, um, just thinking like, I don't, I don't have the guts to sing yet. And Harry, you know, was younger than me and he had the guts to sing and play. And he had this natural authority. And um, I was really blown away by it. And, and he joined the band and sort of brought us presence. He brought us from the background into the foreground, first of all, you know. And then Will joined next on drums. And he, you know, all of a sudden we were a band and Harry was, a, was, was fronting it. And over the years, uh, Harry, had this musical IQ and this sense of spontaneity that I really haven't seen in anyone else. He could lead sections that you just simply couldn't rehearse, you know. We were credited as being a, a really improvisational band or a band that could go into these really wild sections, but that really came from Harry's sense of conducting us and, and Harry's ability to, to come up with an idea on the spot, you know, it takes me weeks or months even to come up with small ideas to do that and, and I'd look at this guy and he'd be on stage doing it immediately you know and having the guts to actually pull it off and bring us there and so I tribute Harry you know aside from you know him being a, a fantastic songwriter and musician you know multi-instrumentalist and, and you know fantastic ears and, and a great sensibility I tribute him in the Cat Empire to bringing that sense of danger and wildness and chaos and, um, and especially in the early years that propelled us into, um, into a sound, you know. So I wish you all the best, Harry. We've, um, we've had such different voices and we've, we've gone on this journey together, but you've, you've got an amazing career ahead of you. It's not gonna be the same on stage without you. We're gonna have to create something really, really different, um, not having you there, but uh, you, your heart and soul of, um, of what a lot of people associate with the spirit of the Cat Empire and uh, good luck.